Hello, kids. Welcome back to Brain Bank. My name is Brian, and I will be your teacher today. Let's read a book together. What is the book about? Well, let's look at the picture. On the picture, or in the picture, we can see some animals. Dongmu, right? Here are three pigs. Pigs, dweji, right? <laughs> Not dweji, ah, dweji, okay? <laughs> dweji. And here is a bird, se, right? These are animals. What do animals do? Well, animals can build things. So our title is Animal Builders because different animals build different things. So animals, mandul suicel, can they build something? Sure. Let's read and find out more. Let's begin. Here we have the first picture. What can we see? We can see a house and we can see a pig and we see half, ban, bandweji, right? Half a pig here. Here we have the title, The Three Little Pigs. The Three Little Pigs. Do you know the story about the three little pigs? Each pig built a different house. The first pig, he built a house made of straw. Let's read together. Do you know the story of the three little pigs? Do you know the story? Of course. I'm sure you heard it before. The three little pigs they, they made three little houses. Little. Can you say that? Little. Little houses. The first pig, the first little pig made a house out of straw. Out of. What? did he use, right? He used straw. This is straw here. And this is his house. This is a straw house. Straw. Think about straw. Is it strong? No. Straw is very weak. Straw is weak, not strong. Kang anio, it's weak. A straw house is very weak. We can push it very easily. Okay, let's look at the second pig. Here is the second pig. Let's read. The second little pig made a house out of sticks. Sticks. So he used sticks to build his house. This is his house. Are sticks strong? If you take a stick, yeah, it's a little strong. If we're really strong, we can break it but we have to use more power, right? We have to be strong. We have to have big muscles. So a stick house is stronger than, stronger than, stronger than, a stick house is stronger than a straw house. That's the second little pig made a stick house. Okay. What about 
the third little pig. Here is the third pig. What did he do? The third little pig made a house out of mud bricks. Mud? Mud is dirty, right? Oh, Degupta, uh, right? It's dirty. Your mother says, don't play in the mud, right? You get dirty. But we can use mud to make strong bricks, right? If we use, we can use mud to make very strong bricks. This house is really, really strong. Can you push it? No, it's too strong. So this house is the strongest. Strong it's the strongest house. It's stronger than the stick house. It is the strongest. These animals made different houses out of different things. What about animals? Straw houses, okay? Let's take a look. The little pig says, I made my house out of straw. Other animals use straw too. So other animals, tandra, tandra, dongmul, right? Different animals use straw to make houses too. Can you think of an animal? What's this here? This is a squirrel. Squirrels use straw to make their houses. Squirrels build nests out of straw. Nests? What is a nest? A nest is like jeep, home. This is a nest, the squirrel's home. It's their jeep. That's where they go home, okay? The babies live in the nest for about two months, dudal, right? So the babies will grow up. They will grow up in the nest. What's it made out of? It's made out of straw, okay? Let's look at a picture of a straw house. Is this a squirrel house? No, this is a human house. We are also animals, right? So some people make houses from straw, out of straw. Where? Well, in the islands, right? This is an island house in the island. Maybe if you go to the Philippines or Thailand, Taiguk, right? You can see on the beach, Pada Eso, right? You can see a straw house. Sometimes they're very comfortable, right? Very nice. Okay, so this is a straw house. Okay, let's continue. We have weaver birds. Weaver bird, what does that mean? Bird, we know, say, right? Say is a bird. Here is a bird. But there are many kinds of birds. So many different types or kinds of birds. This is a weaver bird. What is a weaver? A weaver is also a person who makes things out of straw or thread, right? A person who makes 
baskets or some other thing with straw, they weave the straw together to make a house or a basket, something like that. So weaver birds use grass and straw to make their homes. Let's read together. Weaver birds build nests out of straw and grass. Here is grass. This is grass here. It's green. They build their nests near each other. Near. Kachi. Yep, yep, be. Right? Next to each other. Near each other. So the birds, chingu, chingu choyo, right? They like friends and they live together. Kachi salheo, right? They live together. Their homes, jipe, yep, seo, right? Their homes are next to each other or near each other. Let's take a look. Here is a weaver bird nest. A weaver bird nest. That's one. And look, yep, next, next or nearby is another nest. So, this is like yup, Jeep Saram, right? Yup, Jeep Saram, right? They are neighbors. Neighbors, they live next to each other. Neighbor. Neighbor is Yup, Jeep Saram, the person who lives next to you. Yup, Jeep Saram. Weaver birds like friends, right? Chingu Choyo. <laughs> okay. So, Weaver birds build nests out of straw and grass. They build their nests near each other. So the weaver bird is one animal that builds their home. Okay? They use grass or straw. Very interesting, right? No, much soil, right? I hope so. That was part one of Animal Builders. We're going to Finish now, take a break. Next time, we'll start part two. I will see you then. Goodbye for now.